Fake. Like if I want to catch you, right, because you're trying to hack into my computer, what's the evidence you leave behind? It's, it's very, very important. You learned this in college email. too. Not email. Oh. It's not your email address. It's something else. Address? Name? Nobody knows? Some kind of a code? It's, it's, I'll put address, write this down, address. And this is even how the police track you, okay? It's called your IP. IP address. <laughs> it's so weird. You know how a car has a VIN number on it? Yeah. So that's how you get registered in New York State? Well, every computer has an IP address. So when you log on to the internet, there's a place, a big place, where they have all these big computers. And everybody's IP address is there. So they'll say, well, I try to hack into your computer, but I left evidence. My IP address is there. So now I'm not thinking about that because who really worries about an IP address? But if I'm a, if I'm a police officer who specializes in what? Hackers. I'm always looking for the IP address because I could track you. Where did you last use the computer? Where did you log in? Now how do we track people? Using what? Internet. What's that? Satellite. Satellite. Very good. Now my cell phone is in my pocket, right? Can it, isn't there a GPS on here? Yes. Yeah. What does Apple do? For example, if I use my, uh, if, I take, your location. if I take a picture right now, it'll tell me, do you want to save location, picture, and time? So now as I go home to my wife and she goes to my phone, can she see where I was all day? Yeah, of course. Don't I have something called FaceTime on here? Yeah. But we can talk to you and she can see me right now. I said, I'm at working at the learning center today. She's like, no, you're not. I'm like, yes, I am. And everybody's right here. So now... All these things built into the phone also let people know where you are and where you're operating from. Does the iPhone have an IP address? Yeah. Yeah. So when I send a text message to you to say hello, even though you can't see it, attached to it, it's invisible to the naked eye, is the IP address from the phone. Okay, let's say I was sending you a text message. Let's say I was sending you a text message and I was harassing you. You went to your mom and dad and said, Mom and Dad, I don't know about this guy. He's saying some really weird things to me. They say, okay, they get the, my phone number. Or they attach no. the IP address and they check I it out. I would be like, ah! Right, exactly, and that's the whole idea. And that's why when you're on the internet too, especially when you're communicating with people like on Facebook or you're tweeting or whatever you guys do, you have to be very careful about who you're talking to because I could be talking to you and have a little picture of a kid on there, like a Pikachu picture, hello. My name is John, I'm 15 years old. Meanwhile, my name is Al and I'm 37 years old. So you gotta be very careful about who you talk to on the internet, okay? And that's one of the things they talk about in computer math, but all across the board, especially at Brooklyn Tech and Stuyvesant. They have a whole class just for that, computer safety. Okay? All right, next question is, what's spam? Spam, oh! <laughs> no. It's spam. Food. It's food. No, it's not the food. No, we're not talking about the spam. <laughs> what is spam? <laughs> what happens like when you go onto your email, it says I got 157 emails. 